had seen a couple of documentaries on Gullah Geechee culture and food, and uh, we were going to be in South Carolina, so we had to check it out for ourselves. So we went to Buford, South Carolina, and then on to St. Helena Island, which is uh, in between Savannah and Charleston, uh, right on the coast. It's a really beautiful area. So if you're uh, ever in that area, def definitely go check it out. And um, here's our experience. Hi, I'm Nico from Wonder Open Roads. And today we have the privilege of taking a very special tour. And I'm gonna let this lovely lady tell us all about it. I put a more ornate entrance on the eastern side, but they believe that you worship God in the beginning of your day. And so the religious uh, setting will be uh, competent on, on that particular thing. Uh, even when they bury their loved ones or bury the white Europeans, the neighbors still face those bodies from uh, facing eastward. Then they would put a bush or some kind of tree there to represent everlasting uh, eternal life. The Africans also believe from the mother you come to the mother you return. So in our burial grounds all across the, the southern region, you'll find uh, that you're buried in the burial grounds of your mother, as well as worshiping at the church of your mother. They're placed on land and they're educated. So she's here as part of, of, of that. And then you have two white women that come. Their markers are the markers by the uh, corner of the church grounds, the burial site, with the, the tall markers with the uh, crosses. They're Lower Town and Ellen Murray. They're abolitionists as well, but they're Quaker and Unitarian. And um, and they're here. All three women, three women are here right at the beginning of the war, which was very dangerous.
the reinforcement of African ways makes this a very powerful setting. Because then the control of the movement within the plantation is held by the person who is empowered in this place. That music itself came with us from the continent. The words may vary, but you're going to see some consistency with the melody line. You're also going to see a practice of call and response. So even as we left the South and we went North, uh, in the and particularly if you were Protestant, and most often you would be coming from certain regions of the South, uh, they would do call and response. We had a great time on that tour, and if you're ever in the in the area and you're and you're interested in the uh, Gullah Geechee uh, history, then definitely go check out Miss Kitty. Uh, they do an excellent job. Just the, I mean, she and, and and her daughter, they're both just excellent storytellers, and they just have have so much knowledge. So after checking out some of the local history, we were we were hungry. So it was time to go check out some of the low country cooking that you always hear about. So we went to this place called Gullah Grub, which we had seen featured on some uh, food specials and, and different channels. And uh, yeah, so here we go. We are at Gullah Grub and I have ordered the shrimp gumbo. Okay, so I have shark bites, potato salad, mac and cheese, and cornbread. So hey guys, we just finished up eating at Gullah Grub and it was awesome. 
Yes, it was so delicious, that mac and cheese. Woo. Oh my goodness, I didn't think anybody could make mac and cheese like my mama, but they did it. Yes, they they, put, they did put in that. Yes, they did. And the peach cobbler for dessert, definitely make sure you save room for that. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, oh, so yeah. if you are in St. Helena Island, you have definitely got to stop by Gullah Grub. Yeah. So delicious. Okay, so I had the shark bites, and that was the first time I had ever had had shark. It was really meaty, which I like. I like meaty type fishes, so it was really good. The batter was very light, uh, kind of a cornmeal type type batter. It was not greasy at all. Definitely good. Well, that was fun. Thanks for joining us, and we will see you next time. Be sure to check out our camping apparel and accessories at shopredsquare.com. We also sell on Etsy and Amazon. The links will be in the description. Thank you.